Welcome to Ion Paulsbar and a happy new year to everyone. It's our first show of 2012. We had such wonderful comments on the Christmas show and uh, we appreciate very much Fred's hard work and Amy's hard work on putting that together because that's a difficult show to do. John, that was fun, wasn't it? I think it was. I got to go back and look at it. Oh, it was. It was. And seeing Kid Primo, your mother, uh, Uncle Wes McGill, your dad with Danny, and everyone at the BFW. What, of course, John, I don't know about the hair colors. I don't remember my original one, but it was wonderful. Thank you. Paul's Berto. I thought that was your original hair color. We have a number of odds and ends that Fred's putting together for this program. We stopped at the Rocking Stone uh, Bar and Grill out at Interstate 295, where Paulsburg meets East Greenwich. It's under new ownership, has been for a while. We wanted to get in and say hello and let them introduce themselves to you. Had a very special guest come by, uh, which uh, that segment will speak for itself. And we also had a vintage, another vintage uh, a piece of footage that uh, we introduced at the Christmas show, but didn't have time to work it in. So uh, Fred's going to work it on this. I'm not sure what it is, uh, but people like to look back, and uh, we got a lot of it. I wonder what color our hair was then, John. Of course, mine was dark brown black. Uh, stay with us. We're coming right back. Enjoy the show. Life is a journey that we travel with a lot of uncertainty. When your family is faced with change and you're in need of understanding, direction, honesty, and professionalism, we at the Landoffy Funeral Home have a tradition of assisting you with all of your needs in any way that we can. We offer many affordable funeral services. Please feel free to call us with any questions you may have or visit us at www.LandolfiFuneralHome.com. Rizzo Family Chiropractic Center in Gibstown offers pain relief with a difference. Using specific chiropractic adjustments, Rizzo Family Chiropractic will get to the root of your problem quickly. Bring your headaches, neck, back, joint, or limb pain to Dr. Karen Rizzo. If you have recurring pain, chiropractic can help. Rizzo Family Chiropractic can relieve many sources of pain without extended treatment and ongoing therapy. Give your family the gift of caring professional pain relief with a difference. Rizzo Family Chiropractic. Welcome back to Iron Old Paulsboro. This segment comes to you from the Rocking Stone, long time ago known as the Starting Gate. It's where East Greenwich meets Paulsboro right off Interstate 295 for those watching out of town, originally built by Tom Lyle. And many of you may remember, he built the Starting Gate in Paulsboro and the Finish Line uh, in Belmar. I'm not sure if you had to drink at both places to complete the evening, uh, but they were almost the same footprint. The um, finish line is long gone, and the starting gate has gone to new ownership and has a new format, and that's why we're here to visit with the new owners to talk about the plans. Because the place is alive, and it's colorful and bright. A lot of fun. With me is Frank. Frank, say your last name. Storniolo. Do you think I'm going to remember that last name? It's like Bersicelli. And his brother, Jim? Leo. Leo. Leo Storniolo. Bob. And Bob Montano. Bob Montano coordinates entertainment. So... Frank, you've got plans for this place. First of all, I think you're in a great location, and we're happy you're here. Uh, the place great. is alive. The place is alive. Great location right off of 295 South Exit 18, right on the border of East Greenwich and Paulsboro. F plenty of free parking, uh, great new menu, bar menu, a uh, lot of uh, great entertainment, live bands. Jerry Blavitt, the gear with the heater, is here tonight. Uh, Nice place to stop in and have a drink, reasonably priced, new menu, stop in and see us. Well, this, this location has always been a good spot. Uh, it's been a comfortable spot and a good spot for many years. Uh, and you now have Sunday openings, which was recent. Yes. Um, but let's, the basic things, first of all, hours of operation for people who don't know. We're open 10.30 a.m. till 2 p.m. Monday uh, through Saturday, 12 to 12 on Sunday. You got an outside deck, of course. In the winter time, it's not necessarily as inviting as it otherwise would be. You got Sunday operational hours now. You mentioned the menu. You know, bar business is tough. You got to do a lot of things to attract people. Yes, we run specials for lunch, dinner, happy hour specials, all types of uh, new draft beer. We just put a new draft beer system in. Uh, stop in, give us a shot, see what you think, give us your opinion. Well, you also. Um, uh, he, Frank, and his group are in touch uh, with plans of change coming. Uh, you've got some new ideas. We're going to redecorate uh, the inside. We're uh, putting a new exterior on the place, hopefully in January. And uh, changing the whole atmosphere of the uh, Rocking Stone. Uh, and I, as I mentioned, you know, Bar business isn't what it used to be, which means you have to do a lot of different things. This place always had a good kitchen, and you mentioned, you mentioned the pub menu. Give us an idea about the menu. Uh, we have hamburgers, eight ounce 
Black Angus burgers, uh, sliders, all types of dinners starting at $9.95 and up. Appetizers, uh, a lot of Weight Watcher salads, and we just put uh, pizza on the menu. Buy one, get one free. I like to get one free part. Leo, uh, you're the best dressed person we have on the show tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I always try and look my best. And, and doing very well. I see you got a temple flag. Well, I'm a temple graduate. I'm on the uh, alumni board at the College of Engineering for the last 16 years. And I try and support Temple whenever I can. And you're here with your brother, and that's always a nice thing. Well, we were from a large family, and we grew up, uh, we were seven children. We were always very close. There's nothing like family. And, Bob, you coordinate some of the entertainment. As uh, Frank mentioned, we're here tonight going to get a different interview with uh, Jerry Blavitz in town. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, he will. He'll be other, here tonight. Other things coming? Uh, we have a lot of the best entertainment in South Jersey as far as live entertainment is concerned. Uh, all the big bands that are making the circuit now are on our rotation, and we're quite pleased with the results so far. We're here at the uh, Rocking Stone. Uh, comfortable place to be right off Interstate 295. Hours are friendly. Menu looks inviting for pub food, uh, which there's just every once in a while, uh, you just can't beat a good pub hamburger. Stop in, say hello. Uh, you'll enjoy that you did. We'll be right back. I pledge to be there for you when disaster strikes, to guide you through your claim, to offer personalized coverage from a choice of insurance companies, to explain your policy and treat you with respect. That's the Trusted Choice Pledge. We put it in writing. Home, auto, business, life. We are Trusted Choice, independent insurance agents in your hometown. Spartan Planning, your local Trusted Choice agency. Call 423-4561. For everything, there's a season, and a time for everything under heaven. A time for sharing, a time for caring, a time for remembering, and a time for parting. When that time arrives, let Alan C. McBride, Beth McBride Foley, and Thomas D. Foley at the McBride Foley Funeral Home help you in your time of need. Offering a wide variety of funeral services from cremation to traditional, McBride Foley Funeral Home has been helping families with the loss of a loved one with over 50 years of combined service. McBride Foley Funeral Home, 228 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. Thinking about a new appliance or an LCD TV? Don't think twice, think Weiss. Weiss True Value has a full line of LCD TVs plus a great variety of appliances. And of course, hardware items like True Test Paints, Master Mechanic Tools, Electrical Supplies, Key Duplicating, and Rug Doctor Rentals. And for repairs on screens and windows, look no further. Weiss True Value, from making keys to selling appliances and LCD TVs. Don't think twice, think Weiss. 39 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. Welcome back to Ion Paulsboro. Very special guest, as I mentioned, uh, well, I didn't mention because of how the segment is going to play. We are at the Rocking Stone, formerly the Starting Gate, where East Greenwich meets Paulsboro. It's a Friday night, and they have this special guest that's going to do his program live. Uh, many watching this show are his listeners. Many have grown with him. Uh, the music has stayed young. He has stayed young. Uh, he is an icon in both broadcast and the radio field and uh, considered a just knowledge, most knowledgeable person when it comes to music, music structure. And uh, we're just real pleased that Jerry Blavitt joins us. The Geeter with the Heater joins us on Ion Paul. I, I gotta say, it, is, it really is a thrill to be here because all of these wonderful people here, including you, are the people that are responsible for the book. I mean, if I did not have a career entertaining these people, people who come here, I would not have written a book. And same thing, but you've, you've been very good to me all these years. No, Geeter, uh, I'd be very curious about the chapters you couldn't put in the book. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this book is not X-rated. Believe me, whatever the mayor is saying, it's, it's not true. It is really a great book, though. <laughs> because, because you've had a great career. Uh, you are, an, as I mentioned, an icon. There were, there were, there were a genre of music, a Baltimore sound, a Philly sound, a New York sound. Right. Long before the nation understood what any of that was, you were there. Well, you know, I've been blessed because of the fact, as I say in the book, I've had the freedom to play music from my heart, not music from a research chart. We all grew up when this country was a wonderful country. I mean, you had the opportunity to live in neighborhoods, you knew your neighbor, and music was our friend. 
In this book, I talk about the fact that I came from a broken family. My father was Jewish, my mother was Italian, he was a Jewish racketeer, he runs into the Broadway theater, he meets her, they fall in love, they run away, she's disowned because at that time you don't marry out of your religion. So he goes away and I am raised by the nuns. My mother had to go get a job as a riveter in the Navy Yard. And in the days when kids were playing in the streets, I had to be in bed at five o'clock because we had to be up at six o'clock in the morning because my mother would take us to St. Monica's Day Nursery. So I found this loneliness, that music fulfilled the loneliness that I had. And I used to listen to radio. And then I discovered a, a show called Bandstand. I was, yeah. you remember Bandstand? I, oh, yeah. I was 13 years of age, you had to be 14. I snuck into Bandstand, won all of the dance contests. Because I won the dance contest, Bob Horn said, you can't get in the contest anymore, but we will make you the head of the committee. And as the head of the committee, I met Tony Bennett, and I met Sammy Davis Jr., and I met everyone. And that's how it all began. Music has always been a part of my life, and I've had the success to share my music with the audience out there. Yeah. People, I gotta tell you guys, people say to me, what's wrong with America? The problem is the music that these kids are listening today yeah. is not wholesome music. Right on. All right, I mean, when we went to a dance, you met a girl, you called me up on the phone, you said, I just met a girl called Sue. Play a song. I would say, hey, Sue, this is from Frank. It's called You Belong to Me. Yeah. She would call me up and say, play I Only Have Eyes for You. So it was when we grew up, when we had respect, we had dignity, we knew what we could do, and if you were ever barred from a dance, that was it. All your friends were inside. You were outside. You became a saint. Please give me another chance. Give me another chance. And that's the way it worked. And when you speak of dances, I'm on the phone with a gentleman by the name of Hal Bothart. He represents chemical companies. He played basketball at Audubon High School, and his fondest memory is you at the Murphy Hall, Murphy Hall in, in Mount Ephraim. Yeah. Presented a cake when he won a championship. And that's the span that goes on here. And you mentioned music. But going back to the early 60s, I recall adults in that day were critical of the music of that time as well. Well, I got to tell you, you, you know, when rock and roll first came in, it was not the popular music of the day. And it's very interesting in the book because you will read Pat Boone covered Fats Domino. Pat Boone covered Little Richard Tutti Fruity. But when I was a dancer, I always listened to black radio, Jocko, Georgie Woods, Alan Freed. So I heard the real sound. And when I was dancing on bandstand, another one of my duties was to pick the record, to rate the record. So I would say to Bob Horn, you gotta play the original record. Back then, it was called rock and roll. It did not become popular until Dick Clark went national. And Dick Clark does the introductory to this book, along with Smokey Robinson, John Rickles, Dion Warwick, Little Richard, Fats Domino. These are the true stars. So Dick Clark, who was the all-American boy, made it look good for the adults to say, okay, this guy is a good-looking guy, he's wholesome, you can listen to rock and roll. And your role as it years went on, uh, as a disc jockey as it was called, you've been the keeper of the gate because uh, it's you now who enlighten a generation still coming of this history of how music affected so much. I think it's a big deal. And I, I, I think that, uh, you know, some of us has gotten older, you've stayed young. And often people say the music stayed young and I got older, uh, the music stayed young and you've stayed young. Listen, if you love music, and if you love to dance, and if you love really what life's about, and music speaks for our heart. Music speaks, when we didn't have the words to say to a girl, the music spoke for us. So you will always be young. My greatest joy is when I see people, and I meet people from all over the country, from every different part of the country. The one thing that we have in common is my music. I reach the people through my music. I have been blessed because of my music. Well, let me also add, your selection of music is unique to you, and it's a signature, and no one puts a show together with a theme of music 
it flows and it tells a story from the beginning to the end. Now you're syndicated. I look, pick you up out of the violence station. You're broadcasting live tonight. Right. You're five days a week there. Are you doing that live or is that part of a syndicated show when you come out and do no, a No, what, what I do, I built studios in Philadelphia and uh, Sixth and Market, Gator Gold. Uh, Gator Gold, and I broadcast from there. And they pick it up on 92.1 between 5 and 7, which we're going to do this afternoon. And also, they're going to be listening to it in Atlantic City on Cool 98.3. Uh, the freedom that I have had has been the success that I have had. I have never gotten paid for doing radio. As a matter of fact, many times I have to pay for me to do my radio show. The people that pay me are my advertisers because they believe I have the freedom to speak from my heart. Radio, when you were a kid, is not what it is today. Uh, the problem is that years ago, radio stations were owned by local people. Today, radio in this market is owned by big corporations, and they have no idea of the people like you, the little people, the workers, the people that go to work every day and come home and listen to the music. See, every city has great music. Our city is a great city. New Jersey has great music. Philadelphia, how can you tell a guy living in Los Angeles about our music if he doesn't know the music? But he pushes a button, and you turn your radio on, and they're playing music that only hit the charts, you see. So it's a whole different world. That's why I wrote the book. The book is a story about America, about my love of life, and also I wrote it because there are many stories about my life and my friendships. If you're my friend, and I grew up in a neighborhood with you, I shake your hand. It's none of my business what you do. If you do something wrong in front of me, then you're not my friend, and I don't even want to associate with you. So it's when we knew everybody in the neighborhood. It's when America was young, and that's why I wrote the book. Jerry Blavitt, Geeter with the Heater. Get the book. We'll be right back. Thank you, Thank you. I love you. Life is a journey that we travel with a lot of uncertainty. When your family is faced with change and you're in need of understanding, direction, honesty, and professionalism, we at the Landoffy Funeral Home have a tradition of assisting you with all of your needs in any way that we can. We offer many affordable funeral services. Please feel free to call us with any questions you may have or visit us at www.landoffyfuneralhome.com. Rizzo Family Chiropractic Center in Gibstown offers pain relief with a difference. Using specific chiropractic adjustments, Rizzo Family Chiropractic will get to the root of your problem quickly. Bring your headaches, neck, back, joint, or limb pain to Dr. Karen Rizzo. If you have recurring pain, chiropractic can help. Rizzo Family Chiropractic can relieve many sources of pain without extended treatment and ongoing therapy. Give your family the gift of caring professional pain relief with a difference. Rizzo Family Chiropractic. Welcome back. Our first Christmas show was shot at Joe's house on Broad Street, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Joe. And you were selling Christmas trees that year. Yeah, yeah. Christmas on Broad Street. Christmas yeah, Broad mm -hmm. Street. And, uh, that was a fun time. I, I think we did a couple there. We did. I think we did two or three. The famous golden toe shoe from the uh, well, who's who kicked Reggie that? Lewis. Reggie, Reggie Lewis. Lewis kicked. Yeah, we did a centerpiece around his shoe. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great show. Yeah, it was a very it was good the first show. First time I ever used a shoe in a, in a you know culinary way. You know. But remember, we've got, we've got 21 years of interviews with people between Paulsburg, Gibbstown, and people that have been instrumental in being involved in our, our town. John, and also, <clears throat> we had your dad on the yeah. first show with your nieces, Jessica and uh, Melissa. That's uh, we want to wish your dad wonderful, wonderful health back, John, with his eyesight. And we're looking at you. We love you. We miss you, Birch. And uh, he's a Paulsburg guy. He'll be okay. And I hope he can see you, by the way. That, that, well, that, he can hear me. He could always hear my mother, too. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to, uh, we, we went back into the archives. Fred's going to make a selection, not sure who again, of uh, one of our interviews, of one of our neighbors, which we hope you enjoy. So let's look back a little bit. Hi, welcome to Ion Paulsboro. This week coming to you from Tony's Barbershop, a landmark here on Delaware Street in Paulsboro towards the high school, Irma. John, they've been chasing me with the Clippers, wanting to give me a GI crew cut. <laughs> I can't imagine that. What a fun show we have for you. Stay with us. We're coming right back from Tony's Barbershop here on Delaware Street. 
With us now is Tony DeLuigi, uh, whose fine hospitality has made us feel so at home here at his barber shop on Delaware Street. One of the nice treats of coming in here is seeing some of the wonderful pictures on the wall. But before we hold up a few pictures, let's visit with Tony. Tony, how many years have you had the business? I've been here 60 years cutting hair myself. So you're, just, bre you're just breaking into just it Just breaking into it. Yeah. I hope I die here. <laughs> Give us some of the highlights. Uh, you must have some wonderful memories going back 60 years, I would think. Yes, very much so. I have a lot of fun here. You know? And I, like I say, I want to die here. I don't want to die in a no well, let's, not, let's hope you don't die today like some of our well, shows well, died. Well, yeah. <laughs> Got some friends back in the corner. It's like coming into someone's home. Yes, that's right. And we settle the world affairs here in the morning. Pat comes in, the reverend comes in, you know, and so on, and we shoot the bull. I, I, I got that feeling. Yeah. Let's hold, you've got quite a collection of pictures on the Thank wall, going back a few years. Let's hold this up. Tony's going to remember a few of these people, some handsome, handsome folks in here. Uh, go down to the list, Tony. Yeah. Who do you recall? Frankie Magazoo's up on top, Johnny Machowski, Jerry DiNardo, Adams, Flipper Ellis, Fred Dentino, Frank... Uh, I can't think of his last name right now. This one I can't remember. Neen Marino, Johnny Restelli, and Berkey. That's a pretty good group, you know. Yes. No numbers under any of them either. No. No, they did pretty good. This is the bowling team, Paul's brothers. This is Lou, uh, Lou Mogar, Williams, Armstrong, Burt, and Guesty. You got that, Dave? There's some wonderful pictures, how's, and how's the family? Very good. Everybody's eating regular. I should have sat down. <laughs> I, should have, I should have sat down for a haircut here today. This, 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 this is quite a place. Nice collection of pictures on the walls. You have three chairs. How many people are cutting hair? Uh, just John and I and Lou. When we get sick, Lou helps us out. Where's he at over there? Someplace. There he is over there. It's a pretty good group. We had them in the beginning, in the beginning yeah. of the shot. Yeah. Selvin Shell's sitting in the background. He's going to join us in a bit. Uh, the barber business in Paulsburg used to be quite an affair at one time. Uh, yes, at one time they were like prostitutes. They all wanted business. They wanted. <laughs> uh, there was 11 barber shops. Today, no one cares. <laughs> Who has the most or what, why, and how? <laughs> I hadn't quite heard it quite put like that. <laughs> Now with Ruth Roan, who is first vice president of the Paulsburg Senior Citizens Club, and this year they're preparing to celebrate, I believe, the 25th anniversary as an organized group. Always a fun group. We shoot many shows out, out there over the years. But we want you to come and see the 25 years that they have set up for the next 25 years. Next 25 mm -hmm. years. See, I think you'll be there the next 25 years, Ruth. Well, I don't know about me, but um, somebody will. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Ruth Roan with our friends at the Senior Citizens Club preparing their 25th anniversary. With me now is Selvin Shell, who himself has spent many hours in a barber shop, uh, particularly right on down the road next to 651 North Delaware Street. Recently in the Gloucester County Times, Selvin had published, uh, it may have even been the Paul's Post, I don't recall, but it, it had published a letter both. to the editor, both, well, and uh, it sort of caught our attention. And Sal's been a regular on the show from time to time. But 23 years ago, on your 60th birthday, Sal? That's right. On your 60th birthday, his son Eugene, who's a successful attorney, had given him a book uh, with tips on uh, a good and long life. I'll, I'll read this for Sal. It says, on my son's 60th birthday, that would be Eugene. It's hard to believe he's 60. He's 60. Yes. Yeah. He, uh, on his 60th birthday this year, I gave the book back to Gene and told him to make sure he gives it to my grandson, Timmy and Billy. Uh, whenever, uh, uh, when they turn on their sick for their 60th birthday. Look at our wonderful people with Joseph and the, uh, okay, here we go, the Technicolor. Amazing Technicolor Amazing Dream Technicolor Dreamcoat. We have a well-rounded school. Don't ever say anything about Paulsburg High School. We are the best. Thank you, Tony, for having You're us welcome. in. Sure. Pleasant, pleasant afternoon. We're going to wrap this show up. I'm going to head back into Philadelphia as we again go to the movie set of Bruce Wells' new movie, 12 Monkeys. Thank you to Dave DeMarco and Bill Crane behind the camera. Irma Stevenson It's going to do a fry on Paulsburg from Tony DeLuigi's Barbershop on Delaware Street. When Hurricane Katrina came through, we lost everything. We lost our business. Our trusted choice insurance agent took care of us in the worst possible time in anybody's lives. The good times are rolling again. Had it not been for our trusted choice agent, I promise you we would not be here today. Trusted Choice Independent Insurance Agents offer coverage from a choice of companies and pledge to be there for you when disaster strikes your home or business. Spartan Planning, your local Trusted Choice Agency. Call 423-4561. For everything, there's a season and a time for everything under heaven. A time for sharing, a time for caring, a time for remembering, and a time for parting. When that time arrives, let Alan C. McBride, Beth McBride Foley, and Thomas D. Foley at the McBride Foley Funeral Home help you in your time of need. Offering a wide variety of funeral services from cremation to traditional, McBride Foley Funeral Home has been helping families with the loss of a loved one with over 50 years of combined service. McBride Foley Funeral Home, 228 West Broad Street, Paulsboro.
Thinking about a new appliance or an LCD TV? Don't think twice, think Weiss. Weiss True Value has a full line of LCD TVs plus a great variety of appliances. And of course, hardware items like True Test Paints, Master Mechanic Tools, Electrical Supplies, Key Duplicating, and Rug Doctor Rentals. And for repairs on screens and windows, look no further. Weiss True Value, from making keys to selling appliances and LCD TVs. Don't think twice, think Weiss. 39 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. Welcome back. The program continues with, with probably what is the most important segment, Community Notes with Irma Stevenson. Irma? John, I have uh, 47 happy birthdays today because we didn't do them. So here we go. Happy birthday, Ginny Oswald, Joe Doak, Catherine Kunstman. What a great lady, her and Jack, aren't they? Uh, Peggy Matson, Brenda Bernardino Sabella, Becky Zamarelli, Kelsey Castrava, Nick Marina, Brian Zane, Pete Ruggi, retired detective Sparky DeSimone, Natalia Marina, Giovanna Gentile, John Giovanetti, Kenny Reinger and his twin sister Kathy, Sue Farelli, Marie Wellen, Georgine Weiner, Pelma Wright, Rachel King, Dustin King, Carla Bird, Elmer Roan, Arlene Clement, Don Doak, uh, Jr., Chris Emerson, my great aunt Alice Kamen, John. She, she's up at Forty Senior Citizen Center, and uh, she has lots of friends. Jeff Burry, uh, Lenny Curtis, Raylan Stevenson, my daughter-in-law, Sally Long Doak, Jimmy Milstead, Barbara, and the Barber Triplets, Jason Ryan and Alyssa. John R. Hoffman, Jimmy Emmerich Sr., Alan Bay Sr., Bob Wittick, Marco Tedeschi, Judy Maurer, Eddie Carson, Joe Duca Sr. Joe Duca is in Presbyterian Hospital getting tests. Get well, Joe. We missed you last night at uh, uh, wrestling. Get well to John Vogeling. John just came home after two weeks. So everybody, send him a card and say hello. Elaine Koshu, Polly Jennipro, Doug Stetzer, Brooke Reininger, um, and uh, please get well to Nancy Carson. Nancy had a new knee, so she'll be soon doing the chicken dance. She's at Manor Care. Happy anniversaries, 50 years to Gert and Johnny Gentile, Althea and Earl Miller, Burton and McMahon, Margie and Kenny Emmerich, uh, Marion and Lou Vitula, our singer. we got to get him to do a new cassette, John. Uh, Evelyn and Ed Ravely, Anita and Bob Whittick, Chris and Joe Cordillo, Cookie and Harry Lou Allen, and Kathy and Pete Policino. Happy birthdays. Happy anniversaries. That's a big list. Well, I got to holler that because, you know, where was the birthdays? Uh, PHS Pegasus Players will present the pajama game at the PHS Auditorium on Thursday, March 15th, and Friday the 16th at um, 7.30. And then Friday, they will have it at 4.40 p.m. Please call tickets. The email is bholler at paulsburg, K-12, New Jersey, dot U.S., or call 856-423-5515. Please save your aluminum tabs, John. Uh, we're saving them for the Ronald McDonald House. So I don't care if they come off a of beer, whatever. And you can, you know, if it comes off a of soda, I'll, I'll take the soda too. The famous Oyster and Ham Dinner will be held at St. Paul's United Methodist Church on Saturday, March 17th. Uh, please call more information, 856-423-0048. And soup's going to be on at St. Paul's, Friday, February the 3rd. Please call early beef vegetable and chicken noodle, uh, 423-0048. And also, we have a great event was held at Babe's Bar in Gibbstown. Paul's Bar High School and your friends, it was a combination of Ted Perrion, Paul Marino, PHS fundraiser, and Teddy Perrion's UOM band. It was a big night at Babe's Bar and Grill in Gibbstown. The guest bartenders were Anne-Marie Perrion Leslie and Linda Wynoski McCormick. They are starting to raise money for the PHS sound system in the school auditorium. They're always looking for donations for a Chinese auction. And um, please let us know. Ann Perrion and Linda McCormick planned the event, and Ted Barron played the music in the band, and Paul Marie Marina and a teacher named Barbara helped John. So that's Paul's for helping Paul's for John. Well, it's a good project because the sound system at the auditorium is in need of repair. The high school play is looked forward to by many people. It's a good community drive, so if you can help, it's certainly appreciated. Also, have some quick footage. The municipal government was sworn in on January 1st. Uh, Jeff Hamilton took my place as mayor. Uh, his lovely wife, Pam, held the Bible. Uh, Councilman Paul Marino took the oath of office uh, from his brother, Sheriff Carmel Marino. And... Uh, and uh, Joe Kidd was sworn in by, uh, by Senator Sweeney. Uh, and uh, a real nice turnout of people. It was held on January 1st, which happened to have been Jeff Hamilton's birthday. So happy birthday to the new mayor. Congratulations to those serving on council and a lot of responsibility, as many of you know. So we wish everybody well. Everybody has to stay involved. Irma, I think that's going to do it. Yeah, Jeff was the first baby in Paulsburg that year. I think it was 1958. Yeah, Jeff. So Jeff Wiz Hamilton, we call him. And... Uh, Mayor, lots of luck because these are trying times for everyone, John. 
very much so. That's going to do it for Fred Bookter behind the camera, for Bill Crane, our producer, who couldn't be here today. Uh, see you on Broad Street. Go be great. Until next time.